Hi, it's lovely to see you. I really hope you're well and that you've been looking after yourself. Well, in today's vlog, find out why we become quite attached to this fisherman. Is it possible for me to make a gluten-free vegan bread without gas? And why is the mooring that we're going to so special? Last week I mentioned that I was trying to save gas, so when we're cooking we're trying to use other alternatives. So we have this little electric bread oven that makes other things, not just bread. And today I'm going to try a gluten-free vegan bread in it whilst we're cruising. And it's very hard to make a gluten-free vegan bread. I have not cracked it yet, but I'm going to give it another go today. Then you just pop it all in the bread oven and the great thing about this is that the engine will power it but the solar powers it when the engine's not running and you select which loaf size you want and I'm going for a small loaf whatever it looks like and then select the on switch and cross your fingers. Felix and Tony are now about embarrassed and Terry from the comments have recommended Watermead Park. So this is where we are heading on today's cruise. has been taking place for many years here and the granite stone that is produced is hard wearing and pinkish in colour and the bridge, 1860s bridge or Echo Bridge, was built specifically to carry that granite across. However now it travels via a conveyor belt. The design of these houses was inspired by a Norfolk fishing village and they are Dutch in design. Then as soon as we went under the 1860s bridge, everything started to become rather comical, a bit like carry on up the canal. Now we're approaching a lock, it looks like it's open. Yeah, mate. I'm caught up at the front of your boat. Right up here. You know where you bounce a bit in? Can you see where? Yeah. Where you can fall in? <laughs> you be careful. Don't you dare fall in on my account. <laughs> then I arrive with a pair of scissors. Thank you very much. That Thank you. Oh, no. oh, you've caught three boats today. Yeah. I've had no, no fish on. It's just three Norwich boats. <laughs> 
of the fishermen had really made me laugh. And then we went through into the lock and a boater came to help us. Two boaters, in fact, this one here who's got the windlass. And then we were joined by another boater who was giving us really good tips about where to moor at Waterme Park. And it just sums up basically what it's like living on the waterways. So many super lovely people. An <laughs> India had managed to get the hook and float out of the vendor, so she returned it to the fisherman so he wasn't losing any of his precious kit. a legend that explains the name Mount Sorrel and the name of actually the villages close by here and apparently in this legend there was a devil named Bell and he mounted his sorrel horse before going in one leap to a village now called Wanlip in another leap to land where he burst his girths which is now Burstall and finally in a third leap to a place where he was finally buried and that is called Belgrave. So that's the legend which gives name to about four of the places in this area. And then we pass some beautiful places where people are living. That's adorable. This house is completely tucked behind the trees on its very own little island. Isn't that pretty? That's so gorgeous. That's like a postcard picture. Look at all the sunflowers in the garden. So while Mr M and India were searching for the perfect Moran spot, I went in to check on the bread. Yeah, it's not supposed to have a hole in the middle and it was such a solid structure I knocked to see if anyone was living in it but it sliced okay and because I wasn't really sure if it was going to be edible I thought I'd better try some and actually it was really nice and both India and Mr M completely polished it off
eventually after breaking three machine needles they were the denim and canvas machine needles but still I broke three of them eventually I had a sheet that fits over the wood store the Indian and I have also been busy foraging crab apples to make into crab apple jelly. We have nettles drying so we can eat the seeds and India has made some rose hip syrup. Country Park is basically the site of the old quarry pits and when they were digging the sand and gravel here they uncovered two human skulls possibly dating back to the Bronze Age and a wild primitive skull of an ox called an auric. There's so much to do and see here there's over 12 lakes it's just a beautiful place to visit.
When the underwing flies and fills the space, With rose-hip coloured flashes, smiles light the face. When bread is baked, a humble start Transforms to wholesome hugs and warms the heart. When the robin sings, notes collide Like droplets in a fountain that flow inside. When pond skaters skim, locking air, tessellating on water, we watch them there. Sense in simplicity, being still, noticing the little things, steadies the keel.